What do you think? Oh, you like the wood there? Is this a toy or a bracelet? That's like a like a swing or a toy. Yeah. Okay, oh, so Cody, thank Cody you very much. Like this one. Cody's like, no. She wants love. Give her a kiss. She wants a kiss. What? You, you said I had to sniff, not had to kiss? Just give her a kiss. Oh, she told you. Did you hear? Kiss. All right. I. I. Is that like? Is that okay? Give her more. She enjoys it. You don't enjoy it. Do you want me to make out with the bird? Just give her a kiss. She loves you. Oh, uh, come on. How cute is that? Uh. Hello my fellow sniffers, flighters, and hatchlings. My name is Marlene McCohen, this is Tracy, and this here is Cody, my African Grey. Tracy is a longtime viewer of Wheel of Fortune, so she thinks she's Vanna White right now. My dream. You guys will never see another cage set up like this with so much, you know, things to fulfill. Anyhow, today we are gonna walk you through a perfect cage set up for an African Grey. But not all greys are alike, not all birds are alike. So this is really gonna be about Cody and what I know Cody likes. So Cody was one of those birds that started off not into toys at all as far as toys in the cage. But now we've gotten her used to toys, so we're gonna try to put a few different things in the cage and see what she likes, right Cody? Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to notice about this cage is it's empty. It is empty. Let's first go over the most important thing about the cage. It's not a ride at Disneyland, Tracy. Disneyland's closed. So as you guys can see, this cage is empty, except for Cody is there. They've all been pressure washed. The first thing before you do a cage setup, I always suggest some pressure washing. Um, Tracy's gonna come out with the measuring tape right now, and we're gonna give you guys some information about this cage. She takes the Vanna White very seriously. The bar spacing for this cage is at about one inch. This is good, we've went over this in the other cage setup videos that um, at Cody's head cannot fit through here. So that's the most important thing. You could probably go up to, let me just measure Jersey's cage right here. Jersey's cage is an inch and a half spacing between bars, so you absolutely could do that. I'm gonna tell you what I like about this cage and what I don't like, okay? This cage is more on the rectangular side. Well, that's kind of beautiful and fits in with all of the other cages. We have a few of these. Sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of the rectangle because it feels like it's lacking in space from some other areas. So this right here for you guys to know is about 32 by uh, 22. A lot of you asked me about measurements, so decided to do that. And not from the ground. From the ground, it's about 51 inches. So what it is about the rectangle is even though the cage is a little wide here, the rectangle, I feel like, gives less space to do things. Like, it's hard to have two bars going this way, but in a square cage, for example, you can have multiple different corners with a lot of action that are not gonna dirty each other, if you know what I mean. I showed you guys the paper that I like to put on the bottom of the cage. Real quick, you could use butcher paper. We have a lot of donated paper that we use, but um, I usually have to cut it to the cage, so that would take me too long. So right now I'm gonna use these incontinence pads that you could get from Amazon, from CVS. It's honestly a lot cheaper from Amazon. I have it in my Amazon link, so you could check out my little Amazon store. These are not doggy pee pads. So some of you, if you saw my other cage set up, some of this is gonna be a repeat, but then we're gonna get into all the different things. It fits perfectly in there. That's why I wanted to use that right now, because it's like no hassle, fits in there. It's so easy. And guys, to clean it up, just four corners, throw it away. It's my favorite. It's honestly my favorite. Let's talk about toys for Cody. Lucky we have Cody here. Cody, I'm sorry. Come back. 
So keep in mind guys, your African gray might be into completely different things, but I'm gonna start with some things that generally are easy to get a lot of birds to like. So wood, for example, is something that's gonna be a yay or a nay for your bird. It depends on how hard they like to chew. Here's something easy that Tracy has pulled out. This is called half a mil. Okay, half a mil is pretty simple and pretty good start and Cody loves it. Tracy, you're getting really good. Green light from Cody. Now this is in particular is a toy that is really good to start with for birds that you're not sure if they like toys and they go after simple things in your household. I wouldn't say, hey, get this for your macaw or if your gray loves to chew wood, but I do think this is gonna be a good toy for Cody. Before Cody wants to leave, let me try a few other toys out for with Cody in front of you guys. This is a winning toy always. This is by Jungle Toys. If the, your bird does not like wood, this is not gonna be the toy, but if your bird does like wood, this is gonna be one of their favorites. It's one of my favorites. This is not exciting, Cody, at first glance. This right here, this is called hand roll. Oh, she's very busy into this toy. This is gonna be something that we put in the cage. That's something fun that you and your bird could do. Oh wow, the beads. You could test before and see what your bird likes and get it in a cage. This is my favorite toy and one of Brando's favorite toys. I don't know why we didn't put this in Brando's toy it's cage like setup. It looks like a headboard. <laughs> this is Captain Ladder's Large. Actually, Pet Terrific made it especially for our large bird box. Large bird box in our feathered fun box, more like medium birds right here like Cody. See, Cody I knew would like this because it's very intricate. And what's great about this toy, you know how birds love caps. If your bird loves caps, your bird's gonna love this toy, but you know they love to pull that piece off. Usually it's hard, you can't get caps with those pieces on them. So Cody loves that. So this is gonna be a winner. And then of course we'll try a few other ones. If your bird's into that kind of stuff, your bird might also be into this toy called Charms by Superbird Creations. Look, Cody's going right for the pieces that are like more intricate like in there. If you have a lot of winning toys, it might be a good idea to add some other toys to the mix that maybe you weren't sure if they would like just to get them introduced to new things. What do you think? Oh, you like the wood there? Is this a toy or a bracelet? That's like a like a swing or a toy. Yeah. Okay, oh, so Cody, thank Cody you very much. Like this one. Cody's like, no. Let's set up Cody's cage. So the first thing um, we're gonna look at is perches, right? This perch right here, it's actually very sturdy. It looks small, but I'm gonna leave it in here for Cody, but not without adding another perch, which Tracy already wow. has ready. Tracy, do you think that's a good size perch for Cody's foot? Why don't we measure it, Alex? I mean, Marla. <laughs> Isn't that who Vanna White works for, Alex Trebek? This actually is a good Or is size. that Jeopardy? I don't know. Oh, it's Jeopardy. Who's the guy that was a wheel in Fortune? I don't know. Oh, so that's like a little less than an inch. Oh. It's three-fourths of an inch. That's a pretty good size for Cody. We do have other size. We have larger ones. If this is a, a more than an inch and this is smaller, then we'll put something of a varying size in there. Just so you guys know, all of these are available on our store at Parrot Station, parrotstation.com. So I love these perches. They're made out of ribbon wood. So let's pretend Tracy's a first time bird owner. That's why she's here, by the way, not just to be Vanna White. Why do we put these perches in the bird's cages rather than the regular old straight perches? Because they make them think they're in the jungle or the forest? They make them think they're in the jungle or forest for 10. No, close. They, they, they are real wood. So basically in the forest, there's gonna be lots of different types of wood sizes. So it's more orthopedic for them. You don't wanna have their foot always be in the same position. Here, like sticks like this that they've shaved down to be like- It's organic. The, yeah. Let's put this in the cage. <laughs> and you wanna have a varying degree of directions. We don't wanna put it above the dish because you don't want right. them to drop things. We also wanna have them have easier access to their water or food. Right. We're gonna try to put something here. I think it needs to be thicker. I think we need a thicker one. Oh. Let's put a thicker one. Cody, this is gonna be where Cody sleeps. Okay. Is this too thick? No, that's good. I noticed something about my birds which you guys might also notice about yours. This is almost like standard across most of my birds. A lot of them love to perch at the highest perch they have going 
opposite the door. So, <laughs> guys, I am in the cage. Let me show you some things I'm not here. In the cage. This is the spot where my birds like to sit. You want to make sure that they're they can fit between here and here and they don't have to dip their head. You want to make sure that there's not going to be droppings on the other bar. So Tracy and I are going to have to pull this bar forward more. Oh, well, I did it myself. So now that is clean and clear and you want to make sure it's sturdy. It pretty much is. And you want to make sure they have space behind for their tail to be there. Another thing, if you're going to be using the third bowl spot at all, you want to make sure there's a perch or a way to get there as well. It's easier for me. I have these little yellow bowls that I just attach and that's for the fruits and vegetables and then I pull it out. I can use that as well too. One thing you guys might notice, I don't know why he does this, but this thing right here, this is upside down. I don't know why George does that. I don't know if he wants a more flat surface from there. I have no rhyme or reason for why he does that, but he, that's how we put it in. Also, we pressure washed all the cages. Let's start putting in the toys. We definitely need this, you guys know that that um, Cody loved this. So Tracy's gonna put it in for us. Here. Okay, so give it a little space. Maybe here. Oh, that's actually a pretty good spot because those things can be reached from both sides. All right, we know Cody loves this toy. So let's get that in. Now this is gonna drop a lot of pieces. So you wanna put that in the clear where it's not gonna be getting on the food or the water. It looks like a good spot, but... But if he's, he can't sit in, he, can, he can't sit on this. Yeah, thing. so this toy... This is huge. I know, it's something that's nice up against the wall and since we're not gonna put a bowl here right oh, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that corner over there might be good. A little closer to this perch. More. Yep, that's great. It's nice sometimes to have things in back corners, out of the way, especially things that are gonna drop a lot, just so that the bird like can later on realize it when they're on a perch that they're not normally on. Ooh, charmed. It's like charmed here. I think that's a good spot. Charmed here or even in the back corner because it's probably not gonna take up so much space for where the bird's sitting. Yeah. You know what toy I'm really excited about? Can you guess? This one. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, where can we put that now? I like those toys to be flat against the wall. I don't want it to go into the food. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Okay. Guys, don't forget you could use the links right against the wall as well. See, it doesn't necessarily have to hang. Here, give it to me, I'll put it through. What I like about that is then also in an earthquake, it's more stationary. Don't say that! No! We are tracking some breaking news just into the Fox 4 newsroom. A 4.2 magnitude earthquake struck in California. Rocky, okay? This is a sturdy stand, huh? That's so cute! What if we hang something a little lower? Now, that gives that perch some use, which is a really good thing. I just realized why he puts it upside down. Because when you go to put the toys in, you don't have to lift this. Oh, that's, smart. That's so cool. George went from very dumb to very smart a matter of seconds. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget when you're doing your cage setup, you can have things high, have things low, up against the wall, all sorts of different options. That is looking so cool. This is why I'm not such a big fan of the rectangular cage. If this was more square, we could fit a lot more depth of perches going on. And so here we have like here, here, and then th this is the best way I've found to do the perches in their cages. And this might get switched out for something larger later, but this is like three sizes. I'd hang out in there. Would you? Yeah. I like it. You do? Yeah. Car, car. Pretend. <laughs> I too am engaged, not caged. I like it. Amazing, Tracy. <laughs> You're okay. Yay! Wow, look at that, Cody. What do you think, Cody? We got you, girl. Okay, guys. Cody the African Grey set up. You see for Cody, we didn't choose much wood. We mostly chose a lot of those paper, finger trap, crinkle paper type things that she really likes. She also likes the jewels and the wooden beads. So those are like the best things for Cody. When we do Merlin's cage setup, it might be a whole different thing. Now check this out, Cody is 
and African Grey that's kind of like out on the larger size of birds, not a macaw, but we're talking about like the larger of the medium birds. So you think with all the paper and crinkle paper and cardboard, some of these toys would be best suited for smaller birds. And that's where it gets a little bit tricky and it comes down to your bird's preference because something as big as this popcorn, for example, sometimes little birds really like that because there's smaller things in there, but then large birds really like it because they're intimidated and they don't like to chew, but they need some activity and then those toys are perfect. So that is all. Let me know what cage setup you would like me to do next and also if there's any questions you guys have that I haven't covered in any of these cage setup videos. Also, don't forget to check out my other cage setup videos just in case because different birds like different things and it's all based off my bird's personalities, but you might find some clues, cues, and tricks to do for your birds. And guys, remember if you like any of the toys, perches, or anything you've seen here today, don't forget to check out my website, www.parrotstation.com. Rolled my eyes, they're making fun of me. I always forget the third W. It's just like two U's is one W and it just seems like a lot of information, you know what I mean? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. Let me know what you liked in the comments. Thank you, Tracy, for helping me out do these cage setups every day. She's literally just like comes and helps me with these things. It's unbelievable. Bye guys. Don't forget to check out this Pick Me Marlene submission. Guess who's back, guys? It's time to go pick them up. What's up? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Earlier she was like, oh.